Hey guys, so I haven't done this in a while. This was supposed to be an ongoing series, but I stopped because it's me. I don't know if you remember, but I had a series on my channel. I'm pretty sure I had three episodes and it was called How I Style My Wrestling Merch. Fashion is a big escape of mine and I just like fashion in general. I especially like pairing fashion with wrestling because at a certain point I get really tired of wearing just a black wrestling shirt and some jeans so I like switching it up. I thought I would take you through the kind of like where I get my clothes, the preparation, how I put them together because I really like take my time <laughs> in like doing this and stuff and there are outfits that I have on my phone for months and then I finally get them and I piece them together and I'm going to show you the app I use to put this stuff together but to, I focus on a different shirt like I did one with the Tommaso shirt, I did one with the AW jacket and then I did one with Johnny shirt. I have acquired a lot more shirts since then especially AEW pro wrestling t-shirts because I'm pretty sure when I got that jacket they were still kind of in the beginning and it's been a couple months now. Today I'm going to be talking about this shirt, this Hangman Page shirt and how I styled it because as I've said before almost all of the wrestling shirts are black. Wrestling merch is black which can be really boring and annoying so I usually try and get different colored shirts or just different colored things in general or try and match it with like different accessories accessories or colorful pants or something but I gave in <laughs> and I was like you know what maybe I could just make a monochromatic outfit because I really couldn't think of anything else to do with the shirt honestly I did this little mini photo shoot I only posted one picture but it's basically me in the hangman page shirt and then you know like a bandana and I thought if I did that again I'd want a black bandana I don't have one or I couldn't find one and it's too hot that was when it was cold it is summer now so no and me wearing a black shirt <laughs> and black shorts anyway is you know but it wasn't that hot so I got this shirt and a men's extra large because of course I did I know when to pick my battles like if it was 90 degrees outside I'm not wearing this outfit that's really dumb of me but it wasn't that hot so I got this shirt and a men's extra large I just really like the baggy fit and sometimes I don't really want to wear a crop top and show skin or I don't want something to be too tight on me and since it is kind of hot you know since it's large it's you know holes for air. I love this shirt so much. Pro wrestling tees, especially since COVID-19 is going on. Even before that, their shipping took a while, but it takes a, a while. While I'll find out when I ordered it, but I ordered it a bit ago. Shipping took a long time. I'm a very impatient person. They may be more expensive than WWE shop, but I do think that the designs in AEW and just pro wrestling tees in general are definitely a bit better. And I think the shirts are a bit more comfy too, but this is the shirt. You've definitely seen this before. I matched it with these black champion shorts. Now, men's shorts and women's shorts are very different. When you type in women's shorts, you will find booty hole visible shorts <laughs> with like a bunch of rips on them and they like literally are a triangle and you see the butt. I don't want that. It's hard to find women's shorts that are not like so tight and so short. Men's shorts are literally amazing. I know Champion came out with a bunch of these shorts. I got these on Amazon for like 11 12 dollars. So especially with Champion, well I mean Champion didn't really used to be a designer brand but now it's like all popular and stuff. But you don't have to break the bank <laughs> with Champion honestly. If I didn't get these off Amazon I would have gotten them off of Depop like used. I got these in a men's small. I thought the men's small would be bigger. I mean the waistband it can be stretched out but it's pretty tight and it has a thing where you can you know loosen the shorts but they're pretty airy. They're just black. I think especially with a monochromatic outfit like this I, I try and do a lot of monochromatic outfits but sometimes I don't want it because once again a lot of wrestling shirts are just black but like in this outfit if you want me to do a video on this I found this John Cena shirt used I'm not paying 25 plus shipping <laughs> for an old John Cena shirt and then I found a purple skirt now I don't want to wear a skirt all the time and if you're surprised I'm surprised too I don't even know why I wore this skirt I think monochromatic outfits definitely is the probably the easiest way to make outfits look put together if you don't want to have okay the shirt is this color and it's gonna be the same color as the shoes and then the pants are this color and it's gonna be the same color as my bag and my nails if you want to just do like you know what the shirt is blue so I'm gonna get blue pants or the shirt is black so I'm gonna get black shorts I think it's the easiest way to make an outfit look put together however especially I mean you can't go wrong with black but since it's black purse so I got this purse from Shein it was seven dollars. I've always won. I love cow print. I don't have anything cow print. It comes with this chain you could wear or this chain. But this literally cuts the circulation off to my shoulders. So I wore this one instead. This is also perfect because it has black and white. So this is what would be known as like a an accent piece. Wow, look at me vocabulary. Once again, if you're doing monochromatic outfits, 
The outfit can look a bit 2D and just boring and plain and simple. So yes, you can look put together, but if you want something else to kind of bring your outfit to the next level, I found purses and or if you're a guy and you're not comfortable wearing purses like a satchel or something accessories definitely help and I definitely think a statement piece like a cute bag not everybody has this bag you know what I mean so definitely like a cute bag like this or I could have did a different color too I could have did orange or purple definitely something bright I personally wouldn't go with a black bag because it would kind of get swallowed in the look but I definitely think a purse I would recommend if you're doing like a monochromatic outfit or like a a colorful headband but I think this was like 25 and then my shorts were like 11 or 12 so you really don't need to break the bank honestly with my outfits that I have coming up I have a lot of outfits coming up actually mm, I do kind of spend a lot on like pants or stuff but like honestly I buy a lot of used clothing and I wash it and it's fine with wrestling shirts if you don't want to spend like $30 or $35 on one shirt because it's that shipping which is insane and pro wrestling tees does not have a lot of sales so you kind of just have to wait until like christmas or a major holiday comes up you can find them used for like 20 dollars free ship used shirts just wash them or sometimes they already come washed and a statement piece but yeah this is my monochromatic outfits i literally have another i have like four or five more outfits coming which I'm very excited for and I'm pretty sure they're all AEW this might turn to AEW thing recommend me a shirt if you want to see like anybody's merch maybe that I haven't done or a shirt that I don't have like maybe a female wrestler or something definitely put it in the comments below and uh oh my god I was about to say I'll see you in the next video I don't do that I don't do that we don't do that